This is Extreme Makeover. My name is Jackie Denny. I'm 48 years old and I'm from Lebanon, Ohio. This is my husband, Ron. He's nine years younger than me. And he's not only handsome, but he's just adorable and wonderful inside too. Jackie was 32 when she married Ron. He was 23. To this point in our life, within the last couple years, I've started to feel like I look older than him. Feelings that began at a supermarket checkout. My husband was holding our daughter, and the cashier said, oh, isn't it lovely that your older son is so devoted to his baby sister? And I'm like, I'm just like, um, and you don't know how to react. You know, I didn't want to make her feel bad. Um, and we're walking out Ron saying, don't cry. I consider myself beauty challenged and breast impaired. Especially when a woman has a poor self-image. I have this like little Mr. Ed overbite. I've developed these jowls, and which jowls are really cute on pug type puppies. I have this nose kind of like Pinocchio or Pinocchiette. Hello, Jacqueline. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming in. Okay. I'm Dr. Fisher. What's really, really important to me is that my patients are fully informed. They're really comfortable with the process. They get treated like a family member in my office. What were your concerns? I have an extremely handsome husband who's nine years younger than me, and for the first time had a lovely checkout girl say, oh, is that your older son? Can I examine you? Sure. OK. All right. We're just... And we want to pull this up and back to make your jawline more refined and decrease your folds, or at least the fullness in this area. Tell me what you don't like about your nose. Let's go through that. I just hate myself when I see a side profile. It's just big. You know, the few remarks I've had by some oaf in the, my life have been about my nose. You'd be cute if it weren't for your nose. OK. Or, and those are the things that, of course, we just remember forever. Right, right. Yeah. Kind of leaves a place there ingrained. Sure. Well, let me show you a few things. Let's, let's okay. pick up the mirror. As you get a little bit older, more experienced, maybe that's a better word. What happens is the brow starts coming down. I think if you raise this up just a little bit, I oh, think yeah. that would that would look better. You have a little bit of extra skin right here. And yeah, you I sure would, do. I would just trim a little bit of this out. Breast. Breast. Let's talk about breasts. The main type of implant that we use are saline implants. The body's 75% saline. Same thing we put in the implants, the same thing you put in your veins. You can drink it. Okay. Implants don't increase your risk of breast cancer at all. They do decrease your visibility on a mammogram. What were you thinking about going to? No, I don't want to be huge. Actually, I would like to be a full B again. I never can promise a bra size. Jackie trusts Dr. Fisher to make the size decision during surgery. This is 17. This is 18 and a half. Is that normal? It's normal to be abnormal. Jackie will get a face and neck lift, lower eyelid lift, a nose job, brow lift, bigger breasts, and later collagen and lips, zoom whitening, gum surgery, and 10 porcelain veneers. Still hasn't sunk in. Still has not. Just kind of like an out-of-body experience for me. To compensate, I brought up the color. Dr. Fisher finalizes his game plan. I kind of like this one better. Mm -hmm. Looks a little softer. Good morning. Good morning. How are you feeling? Great. Make sure that you're OK. And uh, we're going to have a great team here working with you today. You want to say goodbye to your face? I would love to say goodbye to my face. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, goodbye, bum. Good night, sweetie. Yeah, I'll say good night much to my kids. Jackie will awaken to a new body, a new world. Good night. Dr. Fisher's team mobilizes a total makeover of her face and figure. He begins with breast enlargement. Irrigation. I put my implants partially underneath the muscle. This gives a really nice shape and size, I think. He chooses a full B, not a C, to complement Jackie's body. So she's kind of petite, you know, and slender, and we want to make sure that uh, she looks really natural and these look like hers. We'll be doing the brow lift first. really want the scars to heal in a way that nobody can see them, no matter where her hair is pulled back. So we really want to spend a lot of attention to the detail part of the surgery. What's happening now? Facial skin has a backing like a fine garment. That lining is what Dr. Fisher will lift. It's a deeper tissue uh, plane that we dissect under to pull, and there's no tension at all on the skin at the end of the procedure. I think it lasts longer, my personal opinion. After sculpting a new nose, Dr. Fisher's team has spent eight hours in surgery. 
Every single part of her surgery was perfect. Oh, you should see her nose, it's so beautiful. Jackie, you're in recovery room. You had your surgery today with Dr. Fisher. You had a beautiful surgery. How are you doing? Terrible. What's the matter? What babies? What babies? Life, baby. Jackie will be fine. Ron? Yes, it is. Ron, Dr. Garth Fisher in Beverly Hills. I just wanted to call and tell you that we just got through a surgery a little while ago, and her surgery went perfect. Thank you, Dr. Fisher. All I right. really appreciate you calling. You're welcome, and we'll stay That's in touch with you. Sounds good. All right, bye-bye. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today, good Jackie's bandages also come off. See you. It's been a week, right? Um, nine, eight days. Eight days. Eight days. Okay. Let me just take a look at you here. Incisions are healing really good. Let me get you a smile again. Great. Now keep your eyes shut so we won't poke out your eyes with this. That's a good idea. Here we go. You ready? your nose. Oh, it looks great. This is the best looking nose in the whole world. It is just, it like matches my face. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. It gets great. better and better, Jess. Would you want to grab my mirror? <laughs> They're doing great. They are? As for her full B breasts, Dr. Fisher is pleased. Oh, great. They're going to be the right size for you. Yeah. And so is Jackie. They're, they're fun. Now you have to go buy a bunch of candles. Uh, yeah. <laughs> have a seat right here, and we'll oh, get some man. pictures of you. Turn to the side a little bit. Great. You're off. Just keep your blood pressure down, your pulse. Try to be really happy. That makes you heal better. The interview in good shape. Oh, are you kidding? Thank you so okay. much. Okay. You're welcome. OK? We'll see you in a couple of days. See you in a couple of days. All righty. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Well, now she's back, about to meet her friends and family. First impression, I walk in, look the same, but just a little tweaked. But Jackie's looks have changed dramatically. Here's why. Lips to her face, her brow, her lower eyelids, collagen to her lips, lipo under the chin, porcelain veneers, and breast enlargement. From faded at 40 to fabulous at 50, a taste from the fountain of youth. She looks beautiful. She looks great. She looks different. You know, I sent, you know, a five out and I can get in the back of a 10. And this has been so fun. Oh, I didn't want to do this, this girly stuff. It's been the best. It's just been the best.